In this part, we'll learn to delete data using our API. So, let's open API Handler class and create delete method first. Create a method of future HTTP response return type and name it delete user. It will take user ID as a parameter. Inside this method, convert base URI into URI data type and store it in URI property. As API's delete method requires user ID as a parameter in URI, we'll wrap base URI and user ID with inverted commas to make it a single string and also separate both by putting a slash between both. Create a property of type HTTP response. Use trycatch block to avoid app crashes. Return response. Also return response in catch block because we're not handling any exceptions right now. In try block, use response to store API response. Use HTTP delete method to make API call and also pass URI to this method. Make this method async. Copy headers from user add method and pass headers to HTTP delete method along with URI. With this, our delete method is complete in API handler class. Now open main page and in list tile widget, create trailing property and use icon button to pass delete icon to it. Leave unpressed method empty for now. Sorry, we need to pass icon widget, not icon data. Now, create a method of void return type and call it delete user. Pass user ID as parameter this method. Create a response property to store API's response. Make this method async too. Now call delete user method from API handler class and also pass user ID to it. Now call this method from icon buttons on pressed property and pass it user ID of indexed user from data list. We created this data list property in our get user data part. If you have not watched that part then watch that first to understand it. As we are not using response property, so we can remove it. Let's test it out. Delete this user, and refresh the page. And user is deleted which means our methods are working properly. In next and final part of the series, we'll learn to get user by user ID. So, stay tuned.